Hey guys, how you doing? Eric at Silk House Cigars here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. I know I am. It's about to get better because I'm going to put a damn cigar in my mouth in a minute. And that's going to be awesome. So this video I wanted to do sort of as a follow-up to the last video I did, which was me going over things I don't want to see you make mistakes as a new cigar smoker uh, with. And hopefully you saw that one and got something out of it. That's kind of going over the mechanics of it, right? So if you're a cigar smoker and you've got someone around you that wants to try a cigar for the first time, you're their expert, okay? Just, that's what it is. They know nothing. They see you as knowing a lot. They're going to go to you to ask you some questions. And a lot of the questions are the mechanics of it, like my last video. You know, how do I cut it? How do I light it? How do I store it, right? These are, how, where, do I, where do I get it, right? And these mechanical questions are really easy to answer, right? Because there's some basics you can give them right off the bat. Simple, right? Where it gets challenging is when you get that question, and you know the question I'm talking about. What cigar should I buy for the first time? Hmm. None of us like to get this question. And it's not that you don't want to answer it. The problem is, is how do you answer it? You know, you don't know their palate. You don't know what they're going to experience. You don't know what they're going to like. And I guess the fear for me would be if, you know, if I played it safe and I said, okay, I'll just always recommend a really light cigar, a short cigar, so it's a fast smoke, Connecticut wrapper, and just make it mellow, 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 right? You might give that to someone who's been smoking cig cigarettes and chewing tobacco their whole life. And they're going to be like, no, oh, this is really bland. I get more enjoyment out of my Newport menthol, you know, or my, you know, bag of Levi Garrett chewing tobacco. <clears throat> cigars suck you know that'll be their first impression so what I wanted to do in this was to give a little bit broader spectrum of really focusing on uh, the what do you say is the body of the cigar right so I've got light light medium and medium in this list um, the other thing that's 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 challenging about putting a list together like this is that I could make 20 videos of top five newbie cigars right and i could choose a different set of five cigars for every video okay there's just that many cigars out there but here's why i want to make this video because i've myself experienced something like this that's very frustrating for example i've been doing outdoor stuff my whole life i'm very into survival stuff i've been camping my whole life boy scouts Girl Scouts with my daughters. I've been shooting since I was seven years old. I've been off-roading. I do all sorts of outdoor stuff. That's my thing. Lots of fishing, right? <clears throat> and I, what this reminded me of is when you, let's say for example, and I've had this question asked of me. For example, uh, someone has asked me before, what would be a really good uh, defensive firearm for home defense, right? And so if you were to go on YouTube and watch videos about that topic, it never fails what they say. They'll, in the video say, well, the best firearm to have for home defense is the one that you practice with all the time. Okay, is that true? Yes, you want to be proficient with whatever you choose. But sometimes you're actually looking for a damn answer, you know this brand this model this caliber this gauge whatever right because sometimes if you really don't know something you really want an answer right so instead of just like giving a vague well go find a cigar that's light body that's connecticut that's not too big no sometimes you just want someone to say just tell me the damn cigar to buy right so I'm going to do that in this video. I'm going to tell you five damn cigars you could go buy that I think you might like if you've never smoked a cigar before. You know me. I've got my list. And what I want to do is, because I want to fire up a cigar while we're doing this, um, and so I'm going to tell you ahead of time, here's the five cigars we're going to discuss. The Five Vegas Gold, the Acid Blondi Bellicoso, the Nub uh, 460 Connecticut by Oliva, the Baccarat Bellicoso, and the Isla del Sol, okay? So what I've chosen, because I haven't had this in a while and I was kind of excited about it, is I'm gonna smoke this nub. Man, I haven't smoked a nub in a while, I've got a bunch of these. And also let me preface this by saying, I kind of went real life scenario on this. 
Because if I'm thinking in terms of recommending cigars, let's say off you going to a brick and mortar store or off the internet, man, I could list a hundred cigars that I think are good for the first time. So what I kind of thought about is what you might face in real life is you might be at your house with the friends over and you pull a cigar out and someone goes, Hey, I'd kind of like to try a cigar. Well, what are you going to do? You're not going to run to your computer and order a box online and wait for them to show up in a week, right? You're going to go to your humidor and start pulling crap out. Okay, well, right now, the way I've got it spread out, I've got like three different humidors upstairs. <clears throat> so I did. I went through and I'm like thinking, okay, if someone asked me, what would I pick? And so I pulled five cigars that I would think would be safe bets for me to offer up someone who's never smoked before. So because I want to fire up this nub, let's start with the nub. And I'm going to refer to my notes. So, Nub by Oliva, the 460 Connecticut. This is a 4 inch by 60 gauge. So remember, even though it's short, it's still going to take a while to smoke because it's fat, right? It's a 60 gauge. So keep that in mind. Not all short cigars are fast smoke. Depends on the combination of the length and the ring gauge, right? <clears throat> so, out of five stars, this nub was rated a 4.76 out of five stars. So that's a pretty good rating, right? If you were to buy just one of these, on average, the price on this would be $6.87. Okay, so it still follows my under the $10 rule, right? So now I'm going to run down the specs on the cigar. Profile is a medium. The shape is a gordo. They're really referring to how thick it is, the ring gauge. The wrapper is Ecuador, Connecticut. Its origin is from Nicaragua. It is not a flavored cigar. Um, its filler is Nicaraguan and it is not considered a sweet cigar. Okay, so let's open this one up and let's get this one started and then we will talk about the rest of the cigars. Yeah, this is definitely just a standard cigar, which is cool. Um, but I'm gonna, I, like you saw, I've got a couple in there that are uh, flavored as well. So we want to mix it up. Definitely want to mix it up cutter and this is a good cutter because it goes up to 60 which is perfect for the cigar perfect draw little bits that's normal toasty toasty right we are we know the drill here nothing new nothing new pretty right just toasty toasty. Hmm. I guess this is sort of going to be a nub review as well. It's always misleading on your the first pull, so I'd never judge a cigar on the first pull because you just lit it up. I would always argue you've Get a pinky length into your cigar before you start worrying about if you like it or not. You'll never know in the beginning. Remember, light, easy draws through the cigar, right? We're not looking to tear this thing up. And, of course, the pairing with all these cigars is very important. So we've gone back to the basics. We're going to do the do. Why? Why not? It's a better question. Why wouldn't you drink a Mountain Dew? But really, explain that to me. Oh, nectar of the gods. All right, so let's get into this. So we've done number one, right? We've got the nub. Next one we're gonna talk about is the Five Vegas Gold, okay? I remember when I f first started smoking cigars with my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they had got like one of those big mega packs of Five Vegas, Vegas Gold, I think from Cigars International online. And they gave me one. I think it was the first time I'd had one. And I was, I was pretty impressed with it. I thought it was a good, in fact, I bought a bunch because of it. Um, this is a really good cigar. It's not overwhelming. It's nothing crazy. So let's look at the specs on this one. This particular one is a torpedo shape, okay? It is a 6 inch by 54, okay, so 54 is kind of standard in that Robusto torpedo area 
Um, Robusto is typically more like a 52 to 50, but um, this one's a little fatter. <clears throat> Out of five stars, it got a 4.52. So again, these are all good cigars. I mean, none of these are slouches. These are all good cigars. And the profile is this. This is a light medium. Okay, it's torpedo shape. The wrapper is Ecuador, Connecticut. Origin is Honduras. The binder is Honduran. And the filler is Honduran and Nicaraguan. Okay, and if you were to buy one of these, the average price right now would be four dollars and nine cents. That's not bad. Okay, so again, you're you're under five dollars for a pretty decent cigar. So, why I wanted to smoke this one, and I'm going to touch this up a little bit before I start getting a wonky burn. So you'll see, I'm kind of getting a little wonky burn up there. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Again, I want you to always know that you can you can always touch up your cigars. You don't just have to let them burn like shit. So I'm thinking to myself, if I'm a new cigar smoker, what what is this doing for me? Well, I'll tell you what I like so far about this nut. Let's say I mean, I'm not going to smoke all five of these, but I'm going to smoke this one, and I can tell you if I'm thinking. I'm trying to put my head into it like being a new cigar smoker. One thing I noticed, <clears throat> it's a really easy draw. Okay, these fat 60-gauge cigars tend to be, unless it's made bad, it's ten, they tend to be really easy to draw. And this is a really easy draw. Okay. So I'll tell you, for being what's considered a medium cigar, it's not real heavy. I'm not, it's not full of, I can tell it's not really oily. I can feel it in my mouth and I'm not getting a lot of oil out of it. I don't feel like I'm getting any really big spikes in nicotine. <clears throat> what I, wh okay, so for me personally, I don't like, I don't like the peppery note on this. There's a peppery note to it. But that being said, for an, a new cigar smoker that you don't want them to be underwhelmed, this has got some kick to it, right? So for their first time out the gate, you know, they don't know peppery from creamy, from whatever, or, you know, walnutty or almondy or any of these things, right? All I can tell you is if I'm this new cigar smoker and I smoke, I'm smoking this and I don't really understand how to pull notes, like understand that this is a peppery note, what that would translate to me, if I didn't know anything, would be this thing has flavor, right? That's what we want. So it's an easy draw. It's got flavor to it. It's got decent smoke so I'm getting that smoke and and I can really feel it in my mouth and it's leaving an aftertaste which is a, a fairly pleasant aftertaste so so far if I'm if this is my first time smoking a cigar this is this would be pretty impressive and I and I would lean this one towards maybe someone who's smoked cigarettes before or chewed tobacco or or something else um, I think this is mellow enough to still be for anyone that even maybe who hasn't smoked anything before but because this is the medium one on the list I would say this would really be a good choice for someone who's already like let's say smoke cigarettes this would be an easy transition for them okay let's see what we got next on our list here next on our list is going to be <clears throat> this is the uh, acid by Drew Space Drew Estates this is the Blondie Velicoso Okay, and the, it, that's pretty much referring to the shape, and the Blondie is one of the really, it's kind of like the Cuba Cuba, but even more mild. Um, I added this because you, you could very well easily get someone who maybe likes sweet, likes flavor. Um, so I wouldn't rule out a, an infused cigar for your first shot, because uh, I've turned several people on for their very first cigar, like with the Isla del Sol, which has got some sweetness to it. And they loved it. Um, in fact, I will argue, and not everyone will argue this way, that if you've never had a cigar before, eh, infused cigars is not really the bad way to go for the very beginning because it's it's kind of sweet and you don't get that peppery note that some people don't like. Um, so to me, uh, an, an infused cigar is, is a really easy transition into smoking cigars. But let's get the uh, <clears throat> let's get the stats on this one. So this is the uh, 5 by 54 which, again, as you can see, that's... Uh, it, the Torpedo and the Bellicoso are very similar shape. In fact, arguably hard to tell the difference, except what they call it. 
two dollars they're both 54 like the this is just like the the vegas gold torpedo this is a 54 like that um this one out of five stars got a 4.76 it's a very high rating this is this is a popular uh, drew estate cigar so let's look at the profile here this is considered to be light medium i would say leaning more towards the light to be honest with you um, shape is the bellicoso the wrapper is connecticut origin is nicaragua um, it is not considered a flavored cigar um, and it's uh, let's see it is but it is considered to be a sweet cigar so i'm not sure what that means um, i would always argue that that any of the blue series ones are they have botanical oils in them uh, the binder is nicaraguan the filler is nicaraguan and it's from nicaragua uh, like i said and so if you were to go buy one of these the average price for one stick would be seven dollars and 49 cents not bad so we're still in our under our two dollar range right mm. wow i'm telling you that's another good thing to maybe keep in mind if you're talking to someone who's going to try a cigar for the first time and if they don't drink alcohol <clears throat> it's a really good idea to have like a soda with a, a cigar it really especially if that cigar is a little bit spicy or peppery that the sweet the sugar from the uh, soda is really going to cut that which is kind of nice anyway just a little pro tip on the side there you don't drink alcohol maybe have a soda and they do say the number one soda to have with a cigar is vanilla cream soda So yeah, this is, okay, this is not a crazy complex cigar. This is probably not a cigar I would smoke on the regular, but it's a good cigar, and I think it's a good starting point cigar. Um, anyway, let's go to the next one, and that is the Baccarat. So this is kind of a classic stick, right? You know, if you've smoked cigars for 20 plus years, 30 plus years, you've heard of a Baccarat. Okay, so... This is a 6x54 because it also is the bellicoso shape, right? Or like a torpedo. Um, it gives you a little fatter ring gauge than your typical Robusto. Um, out of 5 stars, this is a 4.64. So again, these are all high-rated cigars. These are, None of these are, are like... Just because it's your, new, your first cigar and you're new and you don't really know the difference doesn't mean you need to smoke a crappy cigar. You can still smoke a good cigar that fits the bill for not having ever smoked. So let's run this one down. This is a light cigar. Okay, this profile is light. Bellicoso shaped. It uh, wrapper is Connecticut. Origin is Honduras. The binder is Mexican. The filler is Honduran. And it does classify this as being a sweet cigar. I have a feeling the sweetness is more what they put on the tip for just the mouth flavor. It, I don't necessarily know that if they actually, it's not like an infused cigar. Um, but I will say, for all the cigars on this list, if you did want to go the safest route of a very easy to smoke, mellow, light cigar that, you know, maybe you're afraid that whoever you're recommending a cigar to is going to be overwhelmed really easily, this Baccarat is, is probably a safe bet to give them. Um, I've given those to several people. In fact, I brought some to Missouri the last couple times. And uh, my cousin Larry, I've uh, given him several of those. He really likes those. Um, it's just a really good, clean, nice tasting cigar. It's a little creamy, so it's not really harsh. It's not overly spicy. It's it's a, it's a good, I would say that's on this list, that's probably the most beginner cigar I'm listing. So, as I get into this about the pinky length, I told you that peppery note that I didn't like in the beginning is already easing up. So again, maybe that's another pro tip for this besides maybe what to drink with it like a soda. Make sure that they understand the flavor profile they're going to get from this, from this cigar in the beginning is misleading. They have to get into it a little bit, maybe a quarter inch into the cigar and then start judging the cigar from there because always when you first spark a cigar up and you get that ignition and that first burn 
it's going to be a little harsher than it's going to end up being in the end. So make sure they understand that. That don't wait till you get into it a little bit before you determine if you like it or not, because it, it's going to change. Last on our list is one of my all-time go-tos, as you know, the Isla del Sol, right? <clears throat> Man, you can't go wrong. And to tell you the truth, with the uh, with the Five Vegas, it's it's. The exact same price as the Five Vegas. It's the, those are the two cheapest cigars here. So if you're really looking to stay under five bucks, you can do that easily and get a good cigar. So again, we got the Isla del Sol, Drew Estates. This is the Robusto. So this is a five by 52. Okay. Out of five stars, this gets a 4.69. It is a light medium Robusto. The wrapper is Sumatra. The origin is Nicaragua. It is considered to be a flavored cigar and a sweet cigar. And the filler is also from Nicaragua. And this, if you were to go buy one on average, the price would be $4.09, just like the five biggest gold. So I would say if you were going to, if you wanted to, to recommend a cigar that had a little bit of a flavor and was really cost effective, the Isla del Sol would be your winner because the, the Baccarat. Um, which I would say is the lightest one on this list is not much more. It's 30 cents more. It's 4.39. Um, none of these are going to break the bank, and I think that's also a good thing for this cigar. You should really lean people away from getting too much money involved right away because if they don't like it, they're going to be like, "Oh wow, I just blew a chunk of change on something I hate." That's why, as a cigar smoker giving advice you've got to really have some restraint because your my first response is oh you want a great cigar you should go get an atabay those are 35 bucks a piece or go try to find an andalusian bull if you can even find one right now they're probably selling for 44 dollars a piece because you can't find them anymore and they taste bitching and it's a two hour smoke and it's so full of all wrong um you don't start there you start at the beginning you know i always view Cigar smoking is kind of a journey, and start the journey at the beginning. Don't jump to the top or the middle. Start in the beginning so you can really develop these things as you go. Think about it yourself. When you first started smoking cigars, I guarantee you're nowhere near where you were then now. Okay, you know, I'm 25, 30 years into smoking cigars, or, and, well, maybe 20, let's say 20 to 25 years in. And I think back of some of the scars I used to like, I don't like them anymore. You know, my flavors change, my profile change, my ability to pull flavors out of cigar got better. So it's, it's going to change and develop as you go, but I think you should always start at the beginning and start mellow and, you know, avoid buying boxes at a time. I've still got cigars up in my humidors that I probably won't ever smoke. I tend to give them away because at one time I loved them and I bought a box. And then I kind of grew out of them. And now they just sit there and they become my giveaways, to be honest with you. Which is good for some people because they get free scars. Yeah, see, if, if I'm a new, new cigar smoker, I can't complain about this cigar. Nice draw. The flavor is really mellowed. I'm not a spicy, peppery cigar guy. I can't stand, I can't stand. The second you say I could, there's a peppery note, I'm out. I don't want it. I will tell you, when I first ignited this cigar, I could taste pepper really strong. I almost don't taste pepper now. This thing's almost turned creamy. I literally can feel it in my mouth. Like there is a little bit of oil involved. And it's like the interior of my mouth is just coated with this pleasant aftertaste. Because I think that's what I don't like about peppery uh, cigars is that kind of bitey aftertaste that just lingers. And you're like, God, I've smoked a cigar three hours ago. I can still taste it in my mouth. To me, that's usually not pleasant. This isn't doing that. What I'm getting is, is very pleasant, very mellow. And again, what did we say this one was? This one is... So this one's... The medium. Out of all five of these, this is technically the strongest cigar. And it's it's really not. Um, 
and keep that in mind because I'm thinking in terms of if someone you turn on to this cigar and they really liked it, I can think of there's some really mild Maduros out there that you could smoke that aren't that strong. I mean, they even look like they're really strong. And you go to smoke them, you're like, well, this is it's pretty mellow for a Maduro. So, you know, looks can be deceiving. Um, yeah, there's cigars that are Connecticut wrapped that are pretty strong. So you can't follow any hard and fast rules. And I think that's really good in the terms of if someone's coming to you for advice, that's one thing that you have the knowledge of that they don't is you can literally turn them on to some cigars and you know the experience they're going to probably have because you've had it. Um, that's why, like I said before, it's, it would be easy just to say, well, just go buy a Connecticut and you'll be fine. Well, maybe not, you know? And that's why I also didn't just want to say, well, just go find whatever, you know, whatever. If it looks light, it's probably pretty, pretty good. No, sometimes people really want to know the answer. And the answer for me here is get this nub, get a five Vegas gold. Here we go. Show them again. Get a five Vegas gold. Get an acid. Uh, uh, this is the blondie. Bell uh, bellicoso. Get a back rat. Bellicoso. Really light cigar. Get a Drew Estate Isla del Sol. Right? And again, like I said, this is the nub 460 Connecticut. So there you have it. There's actual recommendations with actual brand names and model numbers and prices and profiles so you can actually go out and not try to have this vague experience here's five cigars that i would easily say your average new cigar smoker could get and enjoy okay so hopefully this is helpful it's it's hard um, because again there's so many i could recommend this is just the tip of the iceberg but at least this steers you in the right direction to start develop developing your palate and another thing I, I would recommend i'm probably going to make a video on this too because this was actually really helpful for me in the beginning too is sometimes you can buy those brown bag samplers uh, a lot of the online retailers do those and they're not very expensive and you just get 10 random cigars and you don't know what the hell you're going to get and i did quite a few of those in the beginning and it, it really let me taste a wide variety of cigars that I didn't have to commit to a full box or I didn't have to commit to a five pack. I literally got one of each or the other way to go, uh, like my brother and sister-in-law both do. Uh, they belong to like one of those, like a cigar of the month things. And they get, um, I think eight cigars, they get four cigars, but two of each one. And they did that because they figured if we really like one, then we've got another one to smoke later. <clears throat> and if they didn't like it, well, they've got another one to let someone who maybe comes over to visit and didn't bring a cigar can have. So um, I would say the brown bag samplers and the cigar of the month clubs, those are a really good way to really broaden your palate pretty quickly and without having to commit a lot of money uh, to buying boxes at a time or even five packs or 10 packs at a time. So again, <clears throat> I hope this helped. I hope this gave you at least something to go start with and uh, actually gave you some real recommendations rather than just a vague overview um anyway let me know if this was helpful let me know if you try any of these and you uh like or don't like them and the comment below uh what are your recommendations because if people read the comments they might be looking to that too to see what other people have you know as far as an opinion goes on a, a really good new uh cigar smoker cigar choice so uh, anyway, Eric is just SoCal Cigars. I hope you continue to have a good weekend. What's left of it, it is Sunday afternoon. I'm going to continue to smoke this little nub, which is, eh, it's a nice little cigar. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.